Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're back into Order and Chaos Guardians, we're gonna talk about another faction heroes, and at the same time you're gonna have an overview over this faction, but still, everything is possible to have some type of changes when the game is actually fully released, since it's a close beta, so let's just dive into it. Let's go to the main city, after that we go to the time echoes, and then hero collection auction we're talking about today going to be the nature keepers and we're starting with the big wall lagnar lagnar is a tank from the wind element and the reason why i said she's a big wall it's because all her skills is given her lifesteal as well as healing we're starting with the passive here revival shield surrounding the hero grants a 15 percent chance to restore 10 percent hp when being hit and for the super skill or the ultimate Lagnar summons the winds of revival, activating the blooms, the blooming shield centered on the target. Laura cage forms, dealing 45% with wind damage per second to enemies within the area. Additionally, it's having 15% of the damage that is dealt to be converted into HP for Lagnar. So it just keep healing tank. It feels like this tank, if you build and build her in the right way, she will be able to survive with no support. For the next hero going to be Hoil and there main thing about this hero she's from the ice element as well as she's a bruise damage dealing with the close combat the passive here dealing or taking basic attacks has a 30 percent chance to immediately perform an additional attack on the enemy and it will be dealing 110 percent with the ice damage and there is it and this chance is affected by the accuracy when increasing the accuracy on that hero it will be increasing the chances as well as the damage for the next one going to be Amun, and that's a cl uh, warrior close combat warrior the good about this one here it's the super skill Amun's uh, shiwa which is this one here uh, close all enemies in the front savagely dealing 950 percent with the wind damage and it become berserk for five seconds and it will be increasing the attack speed by 37.5% and a crit rate by 37.5% and this percentage is increased when having the hero in a higher level as well as the skill it's a level higher. For the next one going to be the Risa, she's a teleporter, let's say she's a clown I call her and the reason because her ultimate here creates one clown with the shadows of the wind, both the original and the clown's basic attack becomes AOE attacks. The original blinks randomly near the enemy back row and the clown takes 200% increased damage and the clown's death triggers the death count which is a passive. So that's why I'm calling her the clown. She teleports to the back row of the enemy which focus on the damage dealers and at the same time when her clown is killed it will be uh, triggering the passive and the passive here it triggers every 15 seconds that's the normal for that one but when the ultimate is caused then when the clown die this will be making the passive take an effect and it will be dealing 120 percent damage with the wind element to all enemies and then it's really cool hero i must say if you're trying to be focusing on the damage dealers in any type of dungeons for the next one going to be nicoli She's arranged with the wind element to bruise damage dealers. And the good about this one here going to be the passive. The sharp eye nickel gains eagle vision every 15 seconds, survive, uh, surveying the entire battlefield and immediately launch five attack, five flying flowers at the current target. This deal to 28% uh, wind damage, poisoning them for five seconds. So that's the reason of why she's a good hero it's because she's working on an overall damage dealing and the same time over time for the next hero going to be sermon the mage in this faction with the earth element for this one the good about here uh, this hero going to be the passive here harnesses the power of the earth and alters the movement of the earth using rock magnetism summons and uh, an eight seconds totem every 15 seconds that increase nearby allies attack by six percent uh, six percent and reduce 
nearby enemies earth resistance by 3%. So this hero in total, it's a good one to be using if you're gonna be building a complete earth element heroes. It will be helping to be increasing damage as well as lowering the resistance for the, uh, the enemy teams. For the next one, going to be Gaston the Monk in this faction. He's good with overall healing. His ultimate here, he heals all the allies and heals them for 20% of his own max HP. And it will be as well increasing wind damage dealt by 6% to the end of the battle. And it can be up to 5 stacks. It's possible that it will be 100% if you manage to be keeping him surviving and having his ultimate cost 5 times. For the last one going to be Beggy. She's a monk as well with the light element. I didn't really try that one yet, but let's say she's a healer with a debuffer as well. Here gather the sacred power to buff a bath of light for allies, removing one debuff from the three allies with the lowest HP and granting them holy shield for 10 seconds. While the holy shield is active, all element resistance is increased by 7%. And the passive here is use the, fi uh, the fire moment skill to create an indestructible barrier, increase the allies defense by 5% before the battle and this effect is affected by the support bonus. So she is good for the defense as well as increasing the resistance for the elements. For the next one gonna be Hulai. This monk as well from the wind element and really great one if you're working on the wind heroes especially because here he uh, she heals the ally with 170% at least the one that within her range and then it's increasing the wind damage dealt by 40% for 10 seconds. She's mainly for that one here, she's focusing on the uh, long range heroes, especially because she having a barrier, um, let's say a wind around her, that's the range for her and her skills passive. It's really good one if you're focusing on increasing the damage with the wind element to the heroes that is close to her. So yeah, this is all the good heroes into the uh, nature keeper function. The rest is just epic will be used as food later on. I hope you will be able to understand and have an overview over this function guys. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel and write to me in the comments if you're expecting something special around these heroes. I'll be more than happy to read your comments. For now, Take care and happy gaming time.